Hello everybody, Hulk Rex here and welcome to another Mercenary Thoughts from the Inner Sphere episode 378. Yeah, today we're going to be talking about the Initiate, a 40 ton mech that's a 460 for 40 tons it moves awful slow. Kind of feels that role kind of similar to what I think is like the 35 ton Panther, you know, that's a slow moving mech. But this one doesn't even have jump jets on it, so it doesn't have quite the mobility as a, even a panther. But let's just delve into it. All right, initiate. Like I said, it's a 4.60, 40 tons, comes in a little over 1,000, what, 36 battle value, so kind of spendy. It does have a lot of weapons on board. Has endo steel, so at least it has that. It has 11 double heat sink, which is more than enough to handle the heat load on this mech. And then it comes in with uh, what eight and a half tons of uh, arm standard armor, slab armor, 136 points. So yeah, that's good. At least they recognize the fact that if you're moving really slow, at least put some armor on board to keep it alive for a period of time. So, it can sort of uh, brawl it out for a short period of time. Unlike uh, the previous mech, like the Garm, which has mm, not much at all. So, yeah. Now, the interesting thing about this mech is its weapons loadout. It does have a lot. So, I guess if you're going slow, you're going to save a lot of tonnage to put stuff on it. Alright, so we have two medium lasers in the left arm. All right, we have three ER small lasers in the right arm. Then we have an LRM-15 in the left torso with a ton of ammunition. And then we have an anti-missile system in the left torso with a ton of ammunition. And case. All right, they put case on board. And you notice there is no XL engine, so you could have a blowout and still... Uh, keep on ticking. Then it has an SRM-6 in the right torso with a ton of ammunition. And no case. There's a case for having case. All right. So that's one of the design flaws that I'm seeing with the uh, initiate. Okay, you're going slow. You got the armor to protect you, and then you turn around and put a case on board to keep the ammo, in case it does blow, from nuking the uh, mech into little bits. And then you turn around and put a bunch of SRM ammo on one side without case. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. That's the biggest design flaw I see with this one right off the bat. Other than it's uh, a 4.6 moving mech. So, this could find itself uh, moving around. It's like, it, it's kind of the old design uh, concept of like the Succession War style mechs where there are 4.6 movers and they have some good amount of weapons on board. You're talking like the 45, 50 tonners, 55 tonners that move slow. So, this 40 tonner will fit in perfectly with those kind of mechs so you're going to be running around really slow and you're not going to be getting across the board in any uh fast uh movement so there's that so i can see where it will fall into what type it's like uh you're looking at centurions and um hunchbacks and um enforcers those kind of mechs they're going to be, this mech initiate will be right at home running around with those guys. So you're going to have, you know, like I even said, a panther would find itself in a lance with something that's moving this slow. Um, so, yeah. Yep. So, there, it, it has a purpose, uh, I can see. Uh, in the battle value, it's uh, for the bang for your buck, you know, for a little over a thousand battle value, I can easily see this finding its way into uh, a Merc unit. Other than the Indo Steel and some ferro, oh, not even ferro fibers armor, but uh, the 
double heat sinks. Really, it doesn't have a lot of high-tech stuff on board. Now, one thing I would consider maybe thinking about is if you would uh, replace that LRM-15 with, let's say, three LRM-5s. Save yourself some tonnage, maybe get yourself another ton of ammo and put on case on board and maybe another ER small or something. And the other arm, you know, I could see that happening. Uh, but that would take a little bit of um, rebuilding of the mech. And personally, I would be more inclined to drop the SRM-6 in favor of say some more medium lasers or something of that nature and maybe a flamer you know give yourself some, a little bit more capability for burning out infantry you know and maybe even think about another ton of ammo for the anti-missile system because that you can burn through that pretty quickly too so you know there's some things uh design tr um changes i would do but they're pretty oh let's just say easy to do without having to rip the mech apart and rebuilding it so yeah now like i said it being a four six uh it's not going to win any uh speed demon uh records for getting across the board it's not going to be an interceptor it's not going to be a cavalry styler uh, mech, this is your slow plugger style of mech that's going to be running around with some other plugger mechs that are just slowly moving forward and getting the job done. Uh, work, this would really work good with some hunchbacks, especially since, you know, most hunchbacks, you know, don't have anything more than an AC-20, an AC-10, or you got the swayback. So, having something on the board that can throw something downrange would be nice and uh, for the price tag yeah I could see it being used uh, against the clans they'd probably make uh, pretty quick work of it but you know with the amount of uh, armor on board it will take a little bit of effort for them to take it out but if they concentrate on it it's, it's gone like typically any mech that's facing off against the clans they don't care what you are from a light mech all the way to the assault mech if the clan me all decide to focus fire on you and they got a bunch of good weapons on board and pilots yeah it's like there's not much you can do against that it's just a large amount of firepower coming your way you're gonna get toward pieces and it's gonna be the same thing for the initiate all right uh, there is another version of this mech let me dig it up here real quick the let's see the one we were just talking about is the O2 version. There's the O yeah O4. Here we go O4. All right, this one has a slight design change. It does come in with the uh, light fusion engine. This is run by the Wobs. Okay, if you're going to be run by the Wobs, you're going to be seeing a few things. They're they're going to hit you up with some light fusion engines. You know, that's pretty typical of their design uh, concept. And you're going to have an MML-7 uh, in the center torso with uh, one ton of LRM, one ton of SRM on board. That's going to be found in the um, left torso where the case is. So they got smart, throw everything over there where it belongs, where the case is. So if you do have an ammo explosion, at least you have case to prevent it from being totally blown to pieces. And you're going to have um, a couple of hits on the pilot, but at least the mech isn't completely ripped uh, to shreds. Then we're going to have, and also in that left torso, we have an improved C3 uh, computer. All right, that's typical of WOBs. You're going to have this uh, C3i on board uh, to help things out. It makes total sense. You know, that's how they operate, uh, getting the job done. Then we're going to have a three small pulse lasers in the right arm that go out to three. Uh, yeah, okay. So you have your MML-7, which goes out to 21. That's going to be your primary um, damage output or at 
out that range and then you, you have when it gets in closer nine and less then you can hit it with the SRM style ammo and the MMLs are more versatile when it comes to doing such things compared to um, having an SRM 6 and then the LRM 15 and then uh, we have two light PPCs all right, this goes out to 18. Those are the five-point shot blocks you're going to have. Being that they're lights, uh, they, you know, they're, what, three tons a piece, I believe. And you got one of those in the left arm, one in the right, um, or two of them in the left arm. So, there. Uh, I can see those being very handy. You know, you're looking at, it's not going to be dishing out a lot of damage, especially, you know, the most you, you possibly could do is 17 out to uh, 18. And then the most you could do is 7 out to 21. So it's not a mech that's going to really scream at you, uh, I'm dangerous, you know, because that, that's not a lot of damage put, output. But at least it has, it can be part of the network and, work all in conjunction with each other and you know hopefully you got something that's your eyes and ears out front that will shorten that down for range uh, for you so you can uh, at least hit all right but the only drawback I back is the uh, MML has a minimum range of six and the light PPC has a light uh, minimum range of three so, yeah, it's like when you start getting in close, uh, you're obviously, once you get in range of those, the SRM style ammo for the MML, obviously you're going to flip over to that. So that's not an issue. But then the light PPCs, you're going to have, you're, if you really um, want to, hopefully this is where it is, is you got somebody that's a little uh, um, closer using the, the C3 network and you can just sit there and bang away without having to worry about minimum ranges so there's that for going for you uh, so that's where you have your light mech out there that's like a 711 or 812 uh, moving or hopefully it's an 8128 that can be flying around causing all kinds of havoc and uh, Shorten those range for you. So that's the important thing when you're working as a WAB network. Which, you know, all those years of playing at Gen Con and Origins where we were creating the WAB uh, histories, you know, the Iowa crew. Yeah, you could blame that on us. Yeah, that's our fault. Okay, so uh, other than that, that's not a, it's, it's useful. Uh, but you have to work it in conjunction with other similar style of mechs. Now, like I said, you definitely don't want to get in um, to a um, pissing match with one of these things. You're probably going to be coming out on the low end of the, of the uh, totem pole when it comes to uh, fighting with one of these. But at least with the, the standard version... It can be turned into a zombie mech, and hopefully they don't hit your ammo. Then it'll make kind of bad day for you. But you know, there's that. Did I, maybe I didn't mention uh, the second version, the Wob version. It comes in at 900 battle battle value. So you could definitely find some of these falling into your um, network of mechs. Yeah, definitely can find its way into it. Uh, some of the things I would change, like I said, uh, with the standard version, I would get rid of the LRM-15 and replace it with three LRM-5s. I like the whole concept of running LRM-5s. If you have a couple tons of ammo, heck, you could even think about having uh, roughly um, another ton or two of ammo extra ammo and maybe go one with smoke and obviously you can uh, be sending rounds down range pretty quickly and you don't lose anything when it comes to uh, compared to eight rounds going down range with the LM15 versus you know you're still going to be running about the same number of rounds going down range 
with the LRM5s, it's 24. So you're not losing anything per ton. But, you know, maybe think about going the route of taking some smoke, laying down some smoke screens or something like that. Even though an LR, uh, a level 5 um, smoke isn't all that great, but, you know, gives you some options to uh, give yourself some cover. Or go the route of um, maybe a couple more medium lasers or a just a standard C3 system you know, on board. Instead, you know, take one of that one ton and just throw it into a standard C3 slave and following the same kind of concept you're going to have with the WAB version. So there's, there's things you can do with it. It's useful, but... Like I said, it's not one of those mechs that's going to uh, win the, ste the Speed Demon uh, race for you. All right, so that is the Initiate. Not exciting by any means, but, you know, it's going to get the job done for you. And uh, put some rounds downrange. It's not going to attract a lot of attention on the board, but, like I said, it's going to get the job done for you. All right, that's the Initiate. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe, share to friends, and we'll see you in the next one. Elk Rex out.